For the latest results of tonight's primary, we'll first take a look at the race for Mesa County Sheriff. This year, it was two Republicans vying to get on the November ballot with no Democrats to challenge them. KREX 5 News reporter John Madden has been following this race. John, who took the lead? Well, Chelsea, one familiar face has. The race was between current Mesa County Sheriff Matt Lewis and Bob Daly. Barring unusual circumstances, Mesa County will have the same sheriff for the next four years as incumbent Matt Lewis wins the Republican nomination for the office against a challenge from current DeBeck Marshal Bob Daly. Lewis wins over 76% of the vote to Daly's 23%. Lewis has been in office since 2014 and has four more years in front of him. I'm excited to continue some of the great things that we've been doing with the sheriff's office and 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 it's kind of an affirmation if you will that we've been doing some of these things to affect this community and and make things better in this community and people recognize that and and that show of support means the world to me and it's going to fuel us to continue that progress continue to move forward and continue to to work on those things with this community. Lewis says he will continue to work on crime reduction strategies and the jail expansion program. Next up, the race for Mesa County's state senator, Senate District 7. Incumbent Senator Ray Scott is likely to hold on to his position with a nearly 30-point lead at the last update. Scott was challenged by the current Grand Junction House Representative Dan Thurlow. Both Republicans represented our community under the Golden Dome in Denver, and now just only Ray Scott has that chance. Obviously, I'm very excited. I mean, we, we put a lot of hard work into this. I'm not going to take credit for it. We had a lot of great volunteers that really worked hard uh, to make this happen, and I'm, I'm just thrilled. Uh, it's, it's, it's very uh, humbling to know that that many people supported me uh, and believe that I should do my next four years before I'm term limited. Uh, it's, it's a very humbling experience, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud we got this done. Scott also says he won't spend too much time celebrating this victory as he is now focused on November. So who will be opposing Ray Scott in November? Well, that would be one Democratic candidate who ran unopposed. Chris Kennedy wins the nomination unopposed for the Mesa County Democratic Party. The current Grand Junction City Councilman works for the Internet provider Region 10. He told us that he wants to further the work of branching out Mesa, Mesa County's economy to different industries when he takes state office. This campaign is really about inclusive inclusivity. It's about diversity. It's about economic uh, uh, economic diversion and diversification. It's about not relying on uh, extractive energies and fossil fuels to in order to make or break Mesa County's fortunes. And it's about making sure that everybody in our county, regardless of their race, religion, who they love, and how they live, have the opportunity to succeed in this county. And that's a look at your sheriff and Senate races in the 2018 primaries. First on the Western Slope, I'm John Madden, KREX 5 News. John, great job out there. Thanks so much. I mean